it's time to upgrade the Ender 2 Pro to Borden. Welcome to review by DJS PRC. Today we have the Ender 2 Ender 2 Pro from Creality. And it's time to upgrade the boarded tube to Capricorn um, to prevent any future issues with these, these tubes here. Uh, the stock white tube that comes with these printers, they're not the greatest out there. The tolerance are very sloppy and compare of the Capricorn a lot better. And the Capricorn will resist, 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 yeah, why? Resist temperature, hotter temperature than the, uh, can, I can't even remember what the, this tube is called right here, but it's not the greatest out there. Let's change that to the Capricorn and I'll show you how to do it. Okay. Now, basically what we need to do uh, is Take our two mil screwdriver behind the print head right here. You'll have a two mil small screw to remove. Once you have that removed, put that screw aside. You will need to remove the cover off of the uh, printer head. Now I do have a 3D printed for my Sierra Touch. I'll be careful not to break that. And you'll see on each side, especially here, you'll have a place you can kind of pop a small clip. Once that's done, what I do, I put my finger underneath, near my uh, sear touch, and kind of put a little bit of pressure to pop it. So there's some on the other side too. And sometimes I need to pry it outside to be able to pop the, the shroud. Once you did that, grab your shroud, turn it around, let it hang on your gantry. Now, on the bracket here, you might need to grab your two mil and loosen the uh, grounding, grounding screw here to move the wire aside. Okay. And I'll just pull on the shielding here just to give me more room to be able to win my 10 mil to loosen the connector. And a half of the time, a lot of people say, depress this right here, you'll be able to remove the bowden. I never had any luck with that. Like, never, never. Here, where the extruder are, R is, sometimes I'm, I don't have issues. See, right now I didn't have any issues. Um, but again, even if I try, I'll pull on it, push on it, and try. Yeah, I can't even. The only way I'm able to is physically pull on it and remove it. That's the only way I'm able to do it. Grab your bowden. Measure it with equal. Try to keep it equal, should I say? Grab your trusty cutter that came with it. Mine came with the kit. And basically, I gave it about an inch longer than the stock. Now, once that's done, I'll grab my fitting and I'm going to align both of them. And you'll notice on your old Bowden, there's always a mark that the, the teeth that locks this in makes, a, makes marks. And I'm going to insert it right about where I know that the, the teeths are. If you look inside here, you'll see them. You'll be able to align it. I'm not sure if the camera will catch it, but there's a lip here. 
Now you kind of see it. And I'm going to line this roughly where this is. Okay. And you'll understand in a second what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to insert it back in the machine. This basically, what I just did is temporary in a sense. Now I'm going to tighten this up. Now you can use the wrench that came with the printer. I just prefer using my 10 mil. Now you don't want this to be super tightened. You want it snug. You might need even to do uh, basically heat it up after and come back and give it a, a small snug because this aluminum will expand. Okay, it's just snug. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to push it in. I can't even push it. That means it is fully inserted. There's a couple of ways you could do this. A lot of times what I'm going to do is unscrew it about three turns, push back on the bottom, then screw it back in to make sure they're both really snug. Because inside here, you have the heating cartridge, not heating cartridge, but the um, where the filament is get, gets heated up by the, the head. You want to make sure there's no gap between. The reason is, let's say this is your, uh, your, your bar where the filament goes. You don't want to be able to have filament in between both. We'll create your clogs. Fully in. Put my clip back in. I'm just going to pass it behind here. Going to, oh, before I do this, before I forget, put my grounding screw back straight, tighten that one up back up. And while I'm here, let's see if the other one moved. It did. Now reinsert the head cover. Bring this back down. Turn the machine on its side. I'm gonna grab my bottom and insert it right here until I can't go further. Okay, that means it's fully inserted in this pin and I'm gonna put my lock back. And I'm gonna put a zip tie here. I'm not gonna put any here. I want this to be able to move freely. But in a nutshell, this is how you upgrade your Ender 2 Pro from Bowden to Capricorn. Again, the reason you want the Capricorn, the Capricorn will resist heat a lot better than the Bowden. The bottom half of the time will melt. The Capricorn, I think it's good to resist at two, let's say 240, 250 if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. But the bottom, I think around 200, maybe even lower, will start melting. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. I do appreciate that and it does help the channel a lot. Thank you for watching.